This is a rig you won't see every day. It's a Lewis shoulder holster. If you've ever watched the Starsky, Starsky and Hutch uh, TV series, the old 1970s series, you'll see this holster. It's a cross draw shoulder holster. And it will fit very nicely either an automatic or a revolver. I've got a revolver in it now, but it will actually fit a, uh, an automatic. Lewis holsters were actually made uh, to hold. This, this holster was actually made for an automatic. This was used by a movie prop house. And as you can see here, it's got the original snap to it. And it's in very good condition. To find one of these is very difficult. And to find one in this with this type of yoke is very very it's it's impossible uh damn near impossible to find one in that in this shape the yokes held on by uh two tie down strings if you ever watch starsky and hutch you'll see this holster uh starsky wore one on the left side because he was left-handed and hutch wore one on the right and this is a right hand, this for a right hander. You'll notice here the prop house put P11. I don't know exactly what P11 went for, but this is a very good gun, gun holster, shoulder holster. You've got a retention screw and all the way up on both the back and the front. you have a spring that goes all the way up this to actually grip that to grip your handgun very tight and this handgun that's in here is just uh, my wheel gun Smith & Wesson 19 and I love this gun it's a really really nice one So anyway, very quickly, Smith & Wesson shoulder or Lewis uh, leather shoulder holster with a gray yoke. And that gray yoke is very difficult to obtain. This holster is very difficult to obtain. It is a true Lewis. All the Lewis holsters were stamped with Lewis LA Cal. You'll notice the stitching on the yoke is still intact. Nothing's been reproduced on this. I do have one reproduction that uh, is for a six inch and it was uh, actually built uh, and actually the yoke and the the harness uh, tie down that goes down on your uh, on your non gun side. And clips to your belt. It's also adjustable. Uh, the one for the revolver, uh, that that's Lewis and this is Lewis. You'd think that this would be a very easy uh, shoulder holster to get, very low cost and uh, it's anything but. They're very expensive. They're very hard to obtain. Uh, if you've watched shows like Dragnet and movies like Starsky and Hutch, the new movies, they couldn't get a hold of Lewis holsters. Uh, they had to actually use a Buckmeyer holster and uh, they didn't get it quite right uh, as far as accuracy. The prop houses that had Lewis shoulder holsters, Lewis went out of business uh, in, I believe, in the early 70s. Uh, no, no, I take that back. 
close to the, I'd say probably about 1979, I'm thinking. Uh, could have been, it could have been, it could have been mid-70s. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I'd have to look. It's been a while since I've really gotten into these, but I just thought I'd let you check it out. It's real nice. The yoke is just immaculate. It's been in very, very good shape. It's been very well taken care of. And I've got a black one that is uh, the twin to this with a black yoke on it. And then I've got the Starsky and Hutch one that is for the six inch python. And I've got another six inch Lewis rig that uh, has a suede yoke that is exactly the same except it's in basket weave. Anyway guys, take it easy. I hope everything's going good for you. Later on.